everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this um, favour. I've got mine for a baby shower theme, um, but you can obviously um, have this for any occasion that you want. Now I have done something similar before. I'm just going to take this off because it's just resting on there and I'll explain why in a minute. Basically, this is what it is here. Now, this was the first one I've done. I've since done another 17. <laughs> Um, and this seam here should be on the bottom, which it will be in the other ones. But anyway, um, it's a pouch. These are very, very quick and easy to make, but they've obviously, this one, have got the fan detail on the front. And I have decorated these doilies with a little baby um, rattle, little baby safety pins. I've got a nice heat embossed sentiment, um, finished off with a little faceted heart gemstone. Um, and it's just a really, really lovely gift. So these are all going to be in a basket filled with Devonshire um, fudge for all of the um, people that have attended my best friend's baby shower. So this is a thank you to them. So um, I am travelling, so these are going to be going back, so they all fold flat. So mine have got this crease down the middle, which I don't mind because obviously I've got that doily covering it. So I'm going to show you the two ways to do it. So they're really, really lovely and you can make them any size you want. So once you see how you do it, they're very easy to adapt. I'll also link in the smaller one that I made last year. Um, so you can have a look at that one as well. So as you can see, I've been extremely busy. There are all my doilies already. There's all my ribbon ready to go. And this is going in my hand luggage, just in case my main luggage doesn't end up turning up on time at least i know i've got these and i've gone through there and you can see i've prepared all of those ready to assemble together with my mum when my when i get back so i've got one here to show you the papers that i've been using are these gorgeous hey baby from first edition um i haven't used loads and it is just on the rattle and the little um uh, oh gosh lost what they are now but my little bits hanging down here um, and even that yellow is from this pack as well um, these little hot air balloons on that one um, and it's just really really pretty as you can see they're the hot air balloons um, and you get the little kind of ephemera kind of cut out cutaways there as well which are really nice um, and there's all sorts of prints so this comes in 8x8 and 12x12 um, but I didn't need to go really big with them so I've got those okay Paper pack, or paper, sorry, that you're going to need. As you can see, I've done so many now. I'm literally down to the last two, and I thought I'll film these ones because it would make a nice tutorial. So you need your pieces to measure nine and three quarters by um, 11 and a half. What you want to do, so this first one I'm going to show you. I've got a little fly there. Get out, get out of my shot. Um, this, this first one I'm going to do, let's get rid of that. Um, as if you're not traveling so you don't need to fold it flat so have it portrait so I've got my longest length here my shortest length I'm going to run tape along the bottom okay then flip it over and then run it rotate it and run it along a longer side doesn't matter which one if you want to do that side you can like so Okay, so I've got one down here and I've got one along here. Then you just want to go and take both the backings off. Like so. And then starting with the end where you've got this sticky um, piece running along here. This is my longest length. This is my shortest length. You want to bring it round, form a dome. Get rid of my ribbon there. Uh, sorry, not a dome, form a, a circular, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for, tube. And you just want to start from one end and just stick it over your tape. Now mine's half inch tape, so that's what I'm sticking it along. And just go all the way along until you get it to the other end. Pinch your ends and then you can pop your hand in. Although I've got a massive ring on that hand, I can't fit that hand in, so I'll do this one. And you just want to have a tube like so. You're going to, you keep your seam on the left hand side and you're going to squeeze it like so, okay? So this is your seam here and we just squashed it. Then you're going to turn it so your seam is now on the bottom. And I'm going to bring back in my scoreboard. It's 
because I've been doing the other way, so I'm just trying to remember. Then what you want to do is start from the end and just pinch, making sure that you've got that score line there running right through the middle or is in the middle as possible don't worry too too much now this is entirely up to you in terms of how much of a concertina fan you want at the front basically you just want to bring it in line up this end at 11 and a half inches and you're going to score half inch score lines all the way down to six and a half now this is the way to do it to not get that crease down the front okay so I'm going to score at 11, 10 and a half, 10, and just work your way backwards all the way down to, in fact you want to push it flat to about 6 inches because we need to put our hole punch in. Okay, so you can see there, none of that was in frame, sorry, but I've just <laughs> lined that up with 11 and a half and then scored it every half inch all the way down to six and a half. But made sure it's flat up to about six inches. Get rid of that. And then with my hole punch, I'm just gonna hole punch in past that uh, six and a half inch score line in the middle as, as you know near on as you can and just punch my hole punch. So you wanna go up as your first fold, then down, then up. And you're just doing a concertina fold down all the way so when you get to that six and a half inch point you'll be facing up like so and the opening to your bag will be facing in so it's away when you look at it and then if you fan these up into the middle just kind of pull them all up together there and again with the other side like so and then all you need to do is grab some ribbon and you just want to thread it through like so this bit's way too long but it's just to show you quickly I'll trim this down and then just tie that in a nice bow so that is the way that a lot of you will probably do it because you'll, you'll possibly be making it and then putting it um, a gift in it straight away ready to give to somebody so that's that one there, I'll just trim off the ends and then all you would do is decorate, for, so in this instance I've got this, I'm just going to put some glue on there and I will stick it on the front. And there is a really lovely favour, so so easy to make. Now I'm obviously going to be travelling so I'm just going to quickly take this apart and like I said I'm not worried that it's going to have that crease in the front but I will just show you quickly how to score it because some of you may find this way easier. Um, so I'm just going to open that up and now put those score lines down there and that's fine to travel, that's all going to fold up now and it will still look really nice and you will see all the pictures um, on my blog so I'll share them of the baby shower because we've got some lovely things going on. So this is another one, so it's the same size, shortest side facing me, run your tape along the bottom, flip it over and then run it along any of the longer sides. So the, this bit is all the same and then you'll roll it around, put it in that tube, tube uh, shape like so and again start with, where's my end? So now I've got my sticky on this side, like I said it doesn't matter, but you want to start at the end with the this on the inside, the shortest length on the inside and your longest length on the outside. And again, bring this over and just line it all up like so. Again, with the seam on either the left or the right hand side. And you're going to pinch that down. Now, whereas before we um, we didn't fold it flat like this, whereas I am. I've gone a little bit crinkled there, but it's fine. And then grab your school board, pop it in here, and then you're going to score at every half inch. So start at 11, 10 and a half, 10, 9 and a half, 9. 
eight and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven, six and a half is the last score line. Okay, and then what we can do is open it up. Okay, that join will now go on the bottom and you will pinch it flat like so. Okay, so there we've got our score line and then if you just flatten it a little bit more, you can again go and put your hole and then again from the bottom fold it up and do your concertina fold all the way down just as you would before. So that's just another way that you might find easier in terms of doing the scoring because um, you can just lie it flat directly into your scoreboard. So like I said both ways look lovely no one's really going to actually realise that it should or shouldn't have that score line through the middle. And because of what I'm decorating it with, you can't see hardly any of it. So again, that's all folded in. Make sure the opening is facing inwards. Bring up your sides. And then again, with some of my ribbon, just feed that through. But both ways, you want to make sure you've got that join on the bottom. And there you have it. And just play around, just fanning them all up as much as you can. And then again, you'll just stick that one down in place. So as you can see, both of them look exactly the same. So that was the one I'd done earlier, actually. So that's got the seam through, because the other one I've just flat made flat. But there you go. Either way, they look great. And these are the larger size. Um, and uh, yeah, I love them. Obviously once that sticks down, you can imagine them all in the basket. They're gonna look great. People can just take them as they leave. So there you have it. I am done. I've done 20 of them. All I've got to do now is assemble them. So that is a big job ticked off my list. So I'm really pleased with these. I um, hope you like them. Hope I've inspired you. Please give me a thumbs up if I have and um, subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.